I'm Richard Lewis from Calibre.org and I'm here with uh, two members of the Fish 123 mix. That's Dan Release Mullen and Connor Sniggy Blomfield. Uh, just lost uh, to Rasta. Um, you know, two good teams and you've got lots of friends, uh, you know, on them. What happened? What's your take on it? Uh, I think the main point was it felt like an Anderson Gabba for a start. Uh, the game was just. I personally hate it, but everyone else, Shaney, Shaney's been playing really well, man. Like he's been classes online recently, but he's just been playing so well, like especially on Contra as well. No one's ever played the map. He had to download the map. Mike had to download the map. <laughs> like we got absolutely annihilated first half, and we go 11 0 up. You know, like there's not much better to do really. But to get the, the two teams themselves, you know, we're both, like we're all good friends, so it wasn't a lot of banter. Like I know they can get a bit rowdy, but still, man, it's fine. <laughs> Fine. Well, what about you? You've been out of the game for ages, and then like sort of come back for this. And then, uh, how, how, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels right. It's like nine months off, just um, doing other stuff, come back, and yeah, it feels good. I paid for this now, which I don't do. I don't regret it. It's been fun. We've done, we've done away, even though we've had some games and games. Yeah, it's been good. What uh, expectations did you have then as a mix? I mean, all, all, all together, because you know, like you say, you, you're good French, probably mixed together all the time. Just yeah. you know, did you think you could come here and win? I mean, was that in the back of your mind? I don't, I, don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to turn up, really. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, really. We had some like previous players that like, we were going to try and come and with it, but then everyone just like pulled out one by one, especially with Barcelona. One by one, one by one, one, by one everyone just started putting them out. And then like Sleek came in. Oh, actually, no, you're it was me, me, Jamie Sliggy, and then eventually it just built up. Mike filled in last moment. Not even on his own computer, not even on his own monitor. Just turned up. Played sick, Shane played sick, everyone just played sick, man. But yeah, that's good. Sure that's good. Yeah, so it's good. Well, here's something I've got to ask you. I know you're not going to be able to say anything about it, but I've got to try anyway, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh, you know what's going on. Yeah, I know what's going on. Right, right, okay, so uh, all, all these, all these rumours coming about, you're not with Toxic no more, you're, you're off to uh, some glorious German team, and we shall remain anonymous. Can you comment on your future at this time? Um, I mean, I'm not on the show, I'm allowed to, but yeah, I'm on the move. <laughs> I'm on the move. Yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all you can say. Yeah, that's all I can say, guys. All right, well, well, if that is true, um, uh, what's up in terms of your relationship with the Brandmasters? Because I know you've, um, you've been, you know, you get good friends on the team. Yeah. Um, and of course, great management form of, of Darren. Is there any bad blood there in the way that's come out? Or? I mean, I hope there's not bad blood yet, but I mean, Jack's just amazing, man. Like, I know that I'm just let him down once again, but seriously, like, it's just literally. I can't explain. Words can't explain, man. That guy's just a legend. So I, mean, I hope I didn't leave on bad blood with you guys, but they're all great. Like, there was not, it wasn't a personal issue whatsoever with anyone. It wasn't a skill issue, a personal issue, nothing. It was literally just another well, uh, I'll, I'll come back to you uh, for a moment. One of the things I wanted to ask guys, I think perhaps you're in a better position maybe, haven't been out of the game for a while, to sort of talk about who you think is going to win the final now. Um, you know, what, what's your personal take on it? I've been playing. It pretty much goes down to the map, is what I'm going to say, um, and whoever's playing by the day. Um, I'll probably go with B bomb, but I mean, that's only that's enough advantage. Who would you be rooting for personally? Uh, just because I, I, I don't know. I've got friends in both. Um, I mean, I, I just think it's better to root for the team people. that knocks you out, yeah. and then it's like you say, well, hey, we've got beat by the winners. I quite like to see Rass win, but that's purely because they're the map disadvantage. I just quite like yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, well, a well, bit more of an abstract question now, and again, aimed at both of you. Um, Epic Clan. Um, it's not quite as uh, big as an ICM, it's not quite the same stature, but it's good to see, well, our person, I think so anyway, the UK scene having another event like this. What have you guys made of it, and is it an event you would like to support in the future? And what are your thoughts? Yeah, of course, man. Like, the only problem I can really think of is like, I'm not so sure about the low, low prize money for them. I don't think it's intended to be one of these massive prize money special yeah. tracks. It's just because it's supposed to be like local English event. I mean, I don't know, yeah, it's just supposed to be local, it's supposed to be massive prize money, but the only problem that I can think of the event is just not very good, really. That was it, it was just a bit like... Just, uh, just having like a best of three and not like, kind of like... Small competition, like group straight away were hard. Just yeah, just good matches straight away instead of having to just a new clash. Like, so yeah. <laughs> Which they did change. Yeah, they did change the best of three. Like the yeah, yeah, that was a last minute decision. Yeah, they came around last. Everyone was just like best of three. 
I'm not so sure about the culture and participation of the yeah. Well, you know, I think it's good to see the, the, the map kind of bit coming back in the rotation. I guess it's not one of your favourites. But, uh, well, you know, third place, as in, congratulations on that. And uh, you know, thanks very much for the time to talk to us as well. For all the people out there at uh, carrier.org, uh, do stay tuned to the website. We are going to have more videos periodically over the course of the day uh, from here in Utoxida, Epic Land 5.